you understand now that it was absolutely irresponsible of you to do that? It was, especially since I've met the parents, and uh, it's 100% it's, it's real, as I said on the radio yesterday, and as I said here yesterday, uh, it's 100% real. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and what moves you on a position? makes you change your perspective or your mind on something. Maybe traveling to a different country or experiencing a new culture. Maybe spending time with a friend you haven't seen for years and walking in their shoes for a day. A life-altering epiphany from watching a great movie or reading a great book. Well, for a Republican, there's only one factor that will ever alter their course, the threat of legal consequences. Alex Jones, who's harped for years on far-right nutcase conspiracy theories and specifically denying the Sandy Hook massacre, is singing a different tune right now. To refer you to the end of 2014, we've had a video received in evidence of you stating your belief at that time that no one died at Sandy Hook, that the whole thing was fake. Do you understand as you sit here today how crazy that is? I have said before that there have been so many lies and so many things in the past, and I was under a lot of pressure. And I truly, when I said those statements, when I say something, I mean it, that I really could believe that it was totally staged at that point. And why exactly? Why did this sudden change of heart just happen to coincide with him being on trial from the Sandy Hook parents for defamation? He'd love you to believe a whole host of reasons other than the obvious, that he doesn't want to lose money or go to jail. Sandy Hook is a synthetic, completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. A hoax. They're recycling a, a green screen behind him. Of course, the lie he'd love you to believe is that he's never denied Sandy Hook at all. All those episodes of his show were just clever deceptions and fabrications of his political enemies. You know, some left-wing woke studio in L.A. digitally intercepted the Alex Jones footage and altered it before it hit the airwaves, just like how they changed urban mail and ballots from Trump to Biden. Alex Jones took the stand in his own defense today in his defamation case. But just hours before he did, he went on his talk show that airs on the InfoWars website and said this about the father of a Sandy Hook massacre victim. Let's just say he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a nice man and it's not an act. He is um, being manipulated by some very bad people. I mean, I'll just say it because I got to be honest. He's slow. I mean, I think Heslin acts like somebody on the spectrum. Heslin is Neil Heslin, the father of a six-year-old boy murdered at Sandy Hook 10 years ago. Prosecutors quickly turned that around on Jones and played the clip for the jury today. A court already found him guilty of defaming the parents. Now a jury has to decide how much he must pay because of the damage he caused. My apologies if you all rolled your eyes right out of their sockets, but Alex Jones needs all the help that he can get to save his neck legally, and he'd love to have your support. He'll grovel and beg before whoever he has to. He'll lie and flip-flop any direction it takes. Wait, does all that sound familiar? Yeah, Republicans are a weird little tight crime family. Ever hear the term thick as thieves? Yeah, it must be invented for the Republicans. So Alex Jones will play the Trump card figuratively and literally. His ugly orange mask managed to pull the wool over his base's eyes to all his heinous crimes. Why can't Alex Jones accomplish the same thing? Pop on his dumb podcast for five seconds and absolve himself of all crimes forever. Matt Gates figured it was that easy. Remember, because he's in the good graces of the big guy. That means crimes can be erased with the magic wand. This is basically the goal of all Republicans these days. Republicans don't get into politics with an idea of how society should function. They get into politics because they're a bunch of white collar or worse, criminals who want to exonerate themselves. Pathetic is the word that comes to mind. It's pathetic that people like Alex Jones even have a following to make a career. Think about it for one minute. He's getting paid and no doubt they are fat checks. And for what? To destroy society? To poison people's minds? He gets paid for every lie and bonuses for blackmail and extortion. Without a doubt, the biggest running scam in all of the American economy is Republican Party politics. A trillion dollar industry focused on moving money from poor people's wallets to rich people's offshore bank accounts. Alex Jones' only mission in life is to ride that gravy train for all it's worth at your expense. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.